This is a huge project. And I know that the world is looking at us. We have worked with the project for more than 15 years now. We are going to realize the first carbon capture plant in the cement industry in the world. Climate change is probably the biggest challenge we have ever had. And uh, what we are doing here in, uh, in Drevik is, is really important. We have a very tight schedule. We have hundreds of milestones that we have to meet uh, from now until uh, 1st of July uh, 24, when the first shipment arrives to, uh, to load uh, liquid CO2. If you look around at the plant, you immediately see that we have not very much space. So we have to move activities out of old areas. We then we demolish. Then we can start building up again to be prepared and ready for taking in to receive the new equipment for the capture plant. The biggest challenge, so to say, I would say, right now is that we are doing construction work in an, uh, in an existing plant which is running full speed 24-7. It's an old plant. It has been in operation for uh, more than 100 years. Regardless of where we put the shovel in the ground, we hit something. Foundations or cables or pipes or, well, obstacles. The project will get into a very busy phase at the construction yard in 2023. And we need to make crystal clear to each other what we expect and how to do it and when to do and what to do uh, in this construction phase uh, for the project to be a success. They are in the engineering phase and preparing the drawings and the solutions even more in details. And then they are out looking for their sub-suppliers the technology itself is uh, derived uh, on uh, an Acker legacy, uh, a focus on this technology for, for decades. What we're doing now for the first time is scaling up and making sure that we apply it in an energy efficient way so that we're not wasting energy to capture CO2. And that's the challenge. Now we're detailing out the design, making sure that we have maturity and preciseness in the design and documents at this stage. If we do an error now, we can modify it on a sheet of paper. If we find an error uh, two years down the road, we need to cut down steel and reveld. That comes with a totally different price tag. The real proof of the pudding here will be if we manage to produce the normal volume of cement each year as we do today, and that's done in a situation where we're building a new plant aside the existing plant. And to integrate this, that's the huge challenge. And if we manage that, then we are world champions.